Good morning, everyone. All right, we're vlogging. It's happening. We're doing it. Today is the first day of our trip to Spain. This is a brand new season of our travel series. Usually we call it one suitcase, six kids. Or like whatever number of kids there were. Right. I, I kind of it, like it used to be one, one suitcase, suitcase four, four kids. kids. And this time we're bringing two kids who are pretty much young adults. Should we just call it one suitcase, four people? Well, we're not no even suitcase. bringing a suitcase. So it's... No so. suitcase, four people. We're going to call it one suitcase, no Spain. No suitcase, no people. But it's, it's kind of a lie because we're not even bringing a suitcase. Four we're backpacks. just, we're bringing four backpacks, four, backpacks four, people, four people, four backpacks, four people, one suitcase, Spain. Airplane. Sorry about the airplane noise. We're not even at the airport yet and we're already getting airport airplane Spain. noise. We are leaving today. We are packing up our bags and we are going to Spain for almost two weeks. Are you ready for this? Yes, it's heavy. I was born ready. Okay, so Bailey's got her backpack on. Jacob's got his backpack on. First trek. Jessica's got her backpack on. Did you tell them that we paid for the carry-on? Like no. We checked? No, I haven't. I haven't talked about that at all. I paid for one to be checked. And we decided while we were packing <laughs> that like we didn't even need it. We just we we're need, opting out. We're opting out, which is good because this trip is going to be. It's not super planned. We're going to show up to places, maybe <laughs> change our mind about places, get on a train and go somewhere else. Like it, we are backpacking through Spain. It's going to be awesome. Maybe, I'm so excited about this. Maybe that should be the title. Backpacking through Spain. With yes. Four and four, four backpacks and an airplane and airplane flying backpack two kids. adventure thing. Two parents. It's Spain with... sometimes. And also so the plan so far is we are getting on a plane in Los Angeles. So we're going from LAX and we're landing in Barcelona. And I know technically, I believe it's Barcelona. It is so hard to think beyond your own accent sometimes. And I feel like we're going to be battling that a lot on this trip. As Spanish is not one of the languages that we have studied. So um, I'm trying to break through that, but I apologize to anybody if I do put the Americanized version of the words into what I'm saying. So we're going to be out of our comfort zones as far as the language goes. I do feel like it's something that we should make the first effort on and we're going to be trying, but it's definitely something that we're going to be embarrassing ourselves with. Humbling with. ourselves. We're gonna be humbling ourselves. <laughs> Cause I, I think that's that's the important thing is that you, you go and you attempt the language and the culture of the place that you're in. In our experience in the countries that we have visited when we do that there's usually somebody there that will speak english and save us because they are more educated in language than we are so i do apologize um but we will be going to barcelona and i have a ho hotel planned there for our first night or two just because we're going to be like disoriented and not know what we're doing and then we're going to be going to girona and then i don't actually have anything planned past that <laughs> And that's only like a two or three day hotel stay. So we'll be in Girona. And then my thought is that we'll head down to Valencia or Valencia. When we are there, we'll see if we want to go beyond that. So a lot is up in the air. We've already been getting some great suggestions from all of you to visit like the Alhambra area and Granada and Sevilla and out in Madrid. There are some really cool places around there. And that's not our plan right now. We will see, because we don't know. <laughs> Um, but I, I feel like the distance might be a little much for what we want to accomplish. And we'd like to do like a little bit more time, be a little relaxed, really take in and enjoy like the culture and the experience of where we are rather than like jam in all of the tourist stops. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. What are you looking forward to on this trip, Jake? Um, probably food. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's a, food! That's a good one. Yeah, me too. I like food. Um, I'm gonna kiss that lion's butt in Girona. There's a statue of a lion where you kiss its butt. Okay. <laughs> Self-explanatory, really. I, I feel like it means that when you kiss its butt, it means you will return someday. Right, Bailey? Is that what it is? Yeah. I think she'd do it without any reason, though, to be honest. Yeah. Do you have to I mean, I've kiss. kissed many banana <laughs> slugs. It was a summer camp tradition. I, I've done that before. Bailey's just looking for something to kiss. You ready to drive us to the airport? Yeah, I'm gonna drive us. You're driving? I th yeah. Luke already called it. Are you gonna drive me to the airport? Yeah. You're gonna drive? 
You're driving? Uh-huh. Uh-oh, it's gonna be a wild ride to the airport. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, careful. Careful where you're driving. Oh no, you're gonna crash into a truck. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I love you so much. Love you. I love you. Love you. I love you. Be good for grandma, okay? Okay. Love you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, Parker. Drawn, Jake. What? Your backpack? Can I see it? One of them is the ear. The other one is the ear because there's like rain noise the whole time. Do you remember that? Yeah. I think somebody accidentally set off an alarm and it was very loud for a very long time. I put my headphones on. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. Hi, we're looking at the movies. We haven't well, it's been. A, on, it's a good selection. We haven't been on a plane in since COVID that has movies in it, so it's what, a very exciting. That's true. What are you? Uh, yeah. What are you looking forward to? Here? Um, we're, I'm just looking. I don't know. There's okay. there's new movies right. I haven't seen before. made it to Barcelona and uh, now we're trying to figure out the train system to get to our hotel. That was our last train. I know. Right now. Right now. Yeah, but like now we're walking to the hotel. We're almost there. <laughs> Look, it's Columbus. He's mine now. I discovered him. <laughs> All right, we just got to the hotel. The flight was uh, long. The food was surprising. Like, I, I wasn't expecting us to get food, so to get food was surprising. It was actually pretty good. The first meal was like a curry, and then the second meal was a little bit lighter, and that was like a tofu sandwich. However, at least for me, I'm a very tall person, it was a very uncomfortable flight. Like, I, I did not have enough space. The person in front of me immediately, as soon as they were allowed to, bam, with the seat and stayed there the whole flight. And so I was just like curled up and like couldn't get comfortable it, at all. It was kind of funny because it happened to me and dad at the same time. Like the chairs just went like that at the same time. Did you lean your chair back? Um, I did at one point, yeah. Because there was just a little toddler behind me. Yeah, there's, he, had, he had a very oh, okay. small there's a, a larger gentleman behind me. I just felt yeah, you bad, so I just didn't do it. I didn't I didn't lean back at all. I that stayed upright with my face against the other person's seat, and I, I couldn't get much sleep. So I'm really tired. I know everyone else is really tired. The plan is we're gonna go try and find some food. It's a little early for food here. It's 7.15, and I think the restaurants usually open around eight or nine. 
So we're gonna see if we can get some food and then come back here and try and sleep through the night and hopefully that'll take care of the jet lag. That's the theory. I've never had it successfully work, but that is the theory. I'm also already in bed. Yeah, Jessica's already in bed and her eyes are shut, but she's still talking, so. I'm in bed. Well, I, know, I know you want me to get up and I know the plan, that was my plan, is to go eat right now. Yeah, Jessica is in bed <laughs> right next to the bathtub, <laughs> which is just in the room. But I'm about to rally. My favorite place. You're rallying? I've got to rally. All right. I'm going to push through. I'm going to get out of the bed. I'm in it's the gonna bed, be good. too. I'm going to do this. I will say, like... Bailey, I, you're not as in bed. I'm as in bed as you can get. I'm literally in the bed. I'm in a bath. Um, also... Not under covers, though. But that's not the bed. I'm in a bath. Also, I wanted to say about the plane. Yes, the food was really good. They had nice tea. It was well-brewed. Um, and we had, like water the kids had some orange juice it was just it was really nice i have read somebody saying that these seats are like pretty thin and i will say like part of it i feel like was because i'd had my backpack on earlier that day but there were just some spots that i was having a really hard time with like the comfort level it's not just that christopher's legs are long it was also like it was it was pretty painful the shape of the seat was awkward i, I had yeah that's what it was for me too it was like the shape i did too i kept i rolled up my sweater and i was adjusting it on my back and like hitting it in weird places where i would never put a sweater usually but i was like trying to count you did I was it too thinking about that. I didn't do it, it. it helps oh, i was yeah. thinking about it had to do it i, I slept for me. yeah i like put it on my back and and it, i put it even in my mid back at one point like i was like adjusting it just to kind of counterbalance all the pains that i was having so i would say like it was it was pretty painful, but it wasn't it still wasn't that bad. Like I did I know there was one point where I got a chunk of sleep that I wasn't expecting. I feel like even with long red eye flights, like I never sleep. So I did get some sleep and that made it go faster. So I was grateful for that. And overall, like I mean they had a decent selection of movies. I saw a Jurassic Park that I didn't even know had come out and I thought it was really fun. There were like snow dinosaurs. So that was a great time. What are these hooks here for? Are they for us to hang hats or Christmas light? Like why are there hooks right there? They hang your books. Hang your books? Monkey bars. Come what are those it. hooks for? They, they must serve oh, some purpose. Oh, I didn't purpose. know they were a pair of Monkey bars. <laughs> um, eye masks. Eye masks, um, hats. Phone, your phone cap, cords. Your little phone cords. Curtain rod. Your yeah. jacket. I think you'd hang your jacket right no, here. No, you hang a jacket thing. Bailey's theory. It wasn't in a jacket. Um, jacket. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a sleep mask in itself. Yeah, Bailey's figured out. Make she's your cracked the code. Out. Make your own little tag. Is it for mosquito netting? Ooh. Is that how mosquito netting works? Um, that so. can count as the mosquito netting. This place is like a maze of little alleyways. It's kind of cool. Everything at that restaurant is good. The calamari cooks perfectly. Yeah, amazing. I'd say amazing. What would you say, Jacob? I'd say more than amazing. Okay, Jacob's one up in me, that? but it was really good. Very good. <laughs> What did you get, Jake? Tiramisu Nutella. Because they're new flavors and I really like them. You like them? The Nutella tastes like Nutella. And so does the tiramisu. This, the Nutella is like... The tiramisu tastes like Nutella? I thought it would be fun to go through our travel journal at the end of every day. I tend to remember little funny things that happened that maybe I didn't get with the camera and they go in here. So this will give us a little more of the trip. So let's let's take a look. Plane tickets. Plane tickets. This is how we got onto the plane. That's true. Luke really wanted 
his unicorn stuffed animal to go with us. Yeah. Yes. To specifically to go with Jacob. To go with me, I was gonna take care of it, and then we, I think we had to actually stow it away in our car so it could come back. Yeah, we snuck it back onto our car yes. so that we didn't take it with us and lose it in Spain. This is actually part of an airsick bag. We flew on Level, which kind of has a reputation of being like a budget airline, which was great for us because it cost less money. It was honestly great. But it was great, yeah, but I grabbed one of the airsick bags because it said Level. It's okay to not be okay. So when we were going through the TSA security, um, mom got stopped and they were like, what, what, what's, what's this? We need to search your bag. Yeah. And then they pulled out like, halva. Halva. Which is, uh, which, it's, it's like almondy. Is it almonds? It's, no, it's, it's sesame. sesame seed. It's sesame, sesame seed. seed. It's like a candy seed. made of sesame seed. She still says like, oh, it, it's just bringing snacks on the plane. Like that's a normal thing to do. But it was kind of funny because it's a weird snack to it bring. It's a like, weird it's, snack. And it's like a brick. It's, it's like it's a, a brick, brick of, of candy. They had to test it and make sure it wasn't like explosive candy. Yeah. What is this a picture of, Bailey? Oh, that's a picture of me with a sandwich. So this is a very common sandwich in Spain. It's basically like a baguette with the special like aged ham on it. It's very good. It's it's really good. You don't expect it to be good. You expect yeah. it to be dry and unpleasant. But it's to not. Eat, but it's, it's not. Good. It's amazing. And this is the last picture for today. And this is me eating literally all the foods at I don't know how to pronounce this El Champagne. I think is how you say it. And this was recommended by a friend who went to Barcelona recently and he was like, you gotta go to this place and get, get the food that's there and recommended we some food. We got so much food. It yeah. was so good. It was amazing. We got like little dishes of like tapas. So mm -hmm. like there was yeah. a lot of food. And we were all sharing it and like tasting each other's it was food. Great. Everything yeah. that I tried there, I was like, I love this. And dad literally ate all of the foods. I literally ate some of all the foods. I literally ate a lot of food. The next episode, a lot of stuff happened. Yeah, like you meet Ken. Yeah, well, I mean, I was just looking, I was like kind of looking ahead and remembering like all the stuff. Oh wow, stuff. we did so much I that know. one day. I know, so you definitely want to tune in. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, write something down in the comments. Like the video, it means a lot to us, so thank you so much for doing that. That will be featured a lot. Oh yes, there's a lot there's of chocolate. A lot there's of a chocolate. lot of chocolate. There's a lot of incredible architecture. There's a lot of parrots. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today, and we will see you next time. <laughs>